Here's how you create panes in LabVIEW. First of all, just right click. Um, you find the panes within the container section. Uh, I actually want to use a system container or style here, so I'll come in here to containers. Uh, let's, let's make a title bar at the top. Let's do a menu bar over on the side here. and perhaps a status bar uh, at the bottom. So you see I've added all of those and as I've added them they've all got their own set of scroll bars. It's because each of these is a separate pane or a separate area as LabVIEW treats it. Um, for most of them I don't actually want scroll bars so I can go in and turn them all off. Uh, you'll notice I'm just changing them to always off. Uh, sometimes you might want to say off while running which will hide it from your user but allow you to scroll around uh, as you develop. So, oh, and I actually want to leave that one on because just in case I have a lot of data in my main area I want to be able to that to be the one pane that, that scrolls with with my data depending on how the user resizes the screen. And you'll see removing the scroll bars gives you a little extra screen real estate. Position things how you want them. Uh, by right clicking on the splitter you get a number of different options. So splitter sizing is essentially a, affects how the s various panes on your front panel share the space available when the user resizes the screen. So I always want my menu bar to be the same height. Uh, I, there's no real added benefit by giving that any extra height, so I'll, st I'll leave that sticks top. Uh, I'm going to lock the splitter, so that means the user can't move it as, as my application runs. Uh, other options in the upper pane, uh, pane sizing, you can essentially say where, where the origin is, um, whether that's fixed at the top or the bottom. Again, since this isn't going to be resizing, uh, I'm not really concerned there. For the menu bar, I want this splitter to stick left. Again, I typically put buttons or menu options here, which as the screen expands, I don't really get any benefit from having those resize. I want most of the resize to be taken up by this center portion. So I'll come in here on the splitter sizing and tell my status bar to stick bottom. Uh, so the consequence of that, if I switch to run mode by pressing Control M, this puts the front panel into run mode without actually running uh, the code since I actually don't have any code at the moment. I can resize the window and you'll see that my top, left, and bottom bars stay the same and all that remaining space is being taken up by that main um, main pane, so to speak. So press Control M to go back into edit mode. So a nice thing to do here is, you know, if you're using something like a graph, you can put it in the center. If you right click on it and say scale object with pane, Actually, I'll undo that. First, I want to fit control to pane and then scale it with the pane. Scale object with pane will be automatically selected. So, this allows me, as my program is running, whenever the user resizes the screen, I'm going to use it all for the graph, which chances are, if you're just acquiring some data, that's the most interesting portion. So that's how panes can be used in LabVIEW to kind of carve up your screen and allow certain areas to resize while certain areas retain your nice formatting and positioning as you so choose.